On August 29th, 1997, Skynet, a computer system built to protect us, became self-aware. It viewed humanity as a threat to its existence and decided to act. Judgment Day, as we eventually called it, marked the beginning of the war against the machines. Skynet attacks happened almost daily, but the attack that happened on that day was like nothing we'd seen before. Come on, come on. Where are the others? Where's the rest of the resistance? Uh, I don't know. Ah! Ah! No! No, no! no. Uh! I'm through. This is Private Jacob. I know who you are. There's an evacuation point on the other side of town. You need to get there. As soon as you get down the street, turn right and run as fast as you can. Hello everybody, Kevin here after 94 and welcome back to the channel and today we're checking out Terminator Resistance. Now I do apologize for the weird uh, little black bars at the side there. I'm not sure why that is there but I've been ticking around with the recording software lately. OBS for some reason does not want to record this game so I'm using Bandicamp at the moment so uh, it's been a while since I used Bandicamp so I don't know, it could be Bandit Cam or it could be the game itself, I don't know, but I'll try to figure out as, as I go along. But in the meantime, uh, we're playing Terminator Resistance, I heard good things about it, it has good reviews, so decided to pick up the game, I'm hoping it's a good game. Dude got some stuff here. I heard a lot of people say it kind of plays like uh, Homefront Revolution, which I quite enjoy, I might come back to the game sometimes, but... I don't know how soon, but maybe. Okay, all right. Okay, let's get going. As the, the guy in the video is, is kind of rushing us, in a way. Well, here we are. The game doesn't look too bad. Uh, doesn't look the best, but it's not too bad either. It is an underway engine game. Right, that thing has a health bar too. So I think we can probably take that out. Uh, not now, because we got sh we got nothing. <laughs> but I will give praise for this game. The game definitely captured that Terminator, uh, Terminator 2 vibes, that's right. for sure. I left something ahead for you, so keep moving. Definitely plays pretty true to the original franchise. Did I go this way? Let's see, can we go in here? Nope. Wow, that's a big jump. He. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna jump every time now since I'm carried to every time he jumps. But so far it's not too bad. This is a tutorial game, so. Or tutorial level, I should say, so. Uh, we don't got shit for now. And we got Ultra Vision goggles. We can use it to see through walls and other solid objects within a limit radius, so. Alright, interesting. Let's activate it. Patrolling in front of the building. There they are. Make sure they don't see you. 
That's really nice, guys. I like a little, this little hood that pops out, too. T800 Skynet Panzer R9S. Even the sound effects are pretty much original, too. I love it. Okay, there we good. That's nice. For an indie game, it's actually pretty well polished. Not too shabby. Now, I did hear this game was made by the developers who made Rambo, and I heard that game was extremely bad. It's clear. On the whale shooters on top of that, which is not my type of thing, but this is made by the same guys who made the Rambo game. And surprise enough, I think they nailed it. Ooh, 1911. Ah, hello. Who are you? You know what they need to do? They need to make a proper Wobocop game. Now that would be amazing. Eh, not really that dark, really. Not really that dark at all. It was like pitch dark black, and yeah, that makes sense. Escape Pasadena. Ooh, hello. It's probably good to look around for resources. Uh, should we go this way? I'm going this way. I'm gonna look for stuff real quick. Doesn't seem like we can't go back there. That's where the terminator is gone through. Right now it's kind of linear, but I'm pretty sure as we progress to the game, it gets a little bit non-linear, I hope. We shall see. Uh, I'm just getting, I'm just going straight forward. Detection indicator. Display Skynet units real time visual on digital detection level. So when it turns red, the nearby enemies are aware. Spider scouts ahead. Keep that gun ready. Or sneak past them if you don't want to engage. There they are. Ooh, spider scouts. And those are the ones that I have not seen. I'm not sure we can. I want to be thrown. And uh, those are ones that we have not seen in the movies. Yeah, I'm playing the game hard, so I hope it's not too hard. Could've played on uh, extreme, but probably we don't want to do that. Yeah, I, I want some challenge, but I don't want it to make it too hard to the point it gets really frustrated. Okay. Okay, how, how should we do it? Should we kill these bastards? I don't want to kill these bastards. I'm itching for some combat, but in a real life scenario, let's try to avoid these bastards. Although that guy could have viable resources. Oh. Oh. It, oh! Okay, they, they, they seen us. Ah! Ooh, that's critical hits. Well, that that worked while it lasted. Okay, maybe it is worth killing this thing. But now we're getting stuff. I'll be able to find stuff from this guy. Ammo, to make up the ammo we lost. Ah, right, maybe it was a good idea to kill these things. Get some parts from them. Take parts from him, no, not this one here. All right, we'll take it. Fuck, fuck stealth. Okay, now through that garage. It's important. What's there? Hold Hello. On. Holy shit, that is the brightest fire I've ever seen. Okay, not too shabby. Not too shabby. I'm hoping the video is fine. Last time I used banding camp, the audio was a little bit delayed. That's the reason why I have stopped using Bandicamp, but hopefully that is not the case. We shall see. Have to come over here. Hello? We can't do this right now, kiddo. I don't want to go with no, you. No, you don't, but we can't stay here. Who's there? Oh, thank God. You're from the Resistance. See, Patrick? He's going to help us. No, they're going to get us. Please. You need to help me. My little brother, he just won't listen. I'm not going. Leave me alone. I said leave me alone. 
Okay, come on, little kid. Quit crying. I will protect you. I, I know you. you're scared, but staying here is not an option. I'll protect you and your sister, okay? Okay. Thank you. I'm Jennifer, by the way. I've heard there's an evacuation point near here. Yeah, I know. My people are organizing it. We're heading there right now. I'll take us there. Come on, let's go. Where's the rest of the resistance? Uh, I don't know. I, I came know. here looking for them myself. So it's just you then. Yep. Kind of getting our asses kicked out there, you know. Oh shit. Got some HK hunters. Gonna look around for stealth real quick. Oh, we saw this. Let's go, people. This got, way. Got Jennifer and the little kid. Was safe. It was until all the soldiers were pulled out from the area. All right. Let's get the move on here. Through here. Maybe linear at the moment, but surely it will pick up. Terminators! Get down! Get down! What's going on? Shh. Music though, guys. The music it brings. Aaron said these attacks happen more often as the line gets closer. This Aaron, has she seen the annihilation line? Seen it? She's been on the other side of it. She tried to warn us, but we didn't listen. That music though, guys, it brings back that Terminator 2 nostalgia. My goodness. We're here. Can't go that way. They nailed it with the soundtrack. I'm gracious of you to finally join us. Where's your father? He's not coming. God damn it. Tell Ryan that we need to leave now. You just gonna stand here on guard? Okay, we're just looking for stuff real quick, and I don't think there's nothing here. Let's go. Just look around for stuff. Let's reach the parking lot first. Alright, Ryan. I got other people here as well. Gone people. Okay. What did we get? Let's talk to Ryan. Oh, you're from the resistance. Thank you for making sure that Jennifer and Patrick got here safe. Are you the guy I spoke to on the radio? Nah, I, I don't think so. I haven't been able to reach anybody for a while now, but listen. I know that Colin wants us to go, but I don't know how I feel about leaving anyone behind. Jennifer just got here, and you said yourself that you heard someone on the radio. There could be other people out there. Don't you think somebody should go and look for them? I mean, you're from the Resistance. It's your call. Your choice matters. Uh, yeah, let's I'll search. search for other survivors. Good, I'll get the bus ready. Before you go, talk to Erin. She might be able to get you a med kit. Oh, oh, and take this. You'll probably need it. What did I got? Ooh. <coughs> Uzi 9mm. <laughs> yes, of all the guns, the Uzi of truth. Yes. Okay, she's Erin. Ryan told me that you might have a med kit for me. Did he now? So I guess he's the one who rations out our supplies. If you really need it, you can have it. But our supplies are scarce, and I'd rather keep it for a real emergency. So you tell me, do you really need it or not? Not really. I got a med kit anyway. I'm, without it. I'm glad you're more brave than Ryan. Did pick up a couple of first aids, though. We got it. 
But we got Uzi now in the middle, middle. So let's go out there and kick some ass. Or get killed. We got a lot of ammo too. Chasing ghosts? That's what we do now? Fucking hero. Oh, shut your face. You got an M4. Watch me. Watch me decimate this Terminator Terminators with fucking nine meals. Alright, so this path has cleared out. We could have just left too, but you know what? Oh boy. Might as well make the most of it. Uh, okay, that detection meter goes. You know, you know Fuck stuff. You come over here. I don't got time for this shit. There's really no point in stealth. <laughs> There's really no point. That detection meter goes up so high, and. Oh, that's an armor spider. That. Could be a potential problem. But let's, uh. Let's keep it low key for now. I'm glad we're seeing some more different Terminators out there. Without going over the top, like, you know, like the other movies have, like, Genesis and Salvation. Oh, boy. Nope, not to see here, buddy. Let's save some ammo. What are you doing, buddy? There we go. Wow, there's a loading up system, too. So this game is definitely like a... Like an RPG, too. We're getting XP, we're getting crafting. Anyone there? Hello? Kids? <sighs> no one's here. Nobody here, but we just for me to take. Ooh, I'll take. I hope there's no. There, hopefully, there's no weight limit, because that would be. That would be fucking shit. There's an armored spider out there. Did not want to deal with that boy. We will, but. Right now, I want to keep it low key. Let's see, let's put on our visors on. There's a big boy there. Yeah, that big boy might be a big problem. Uh, this is where it's going to be a little bit more linear. I kind of wish the mini map would just, you know, kind of just not stay up all the time. Maybe there's an option for that. Uh. There's a Wobo in there. Pretty sure we gotta deal with that thing one way or another. Uh-oh, 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 you didn't see nothing yet. Ow! Okay, they do, they do quite hurt quite a bit and hard. Uh, careful with that little guy up there. Oh boy. Any nearby Terminators? Nope, just the big boy out there. A little chest. Seems good to explore, people. You never know what you're gonna find. Okay, now let's see what's in here. Hello, here? housekeeping. Nobody at the moment. There is some resources we could trade. Let's see, no enemies. Wow, we could open all kinds of doors. Let's see nothing. Nothing. Okay, there's one more area. We still got to reach. Over there. I don't see anybody in the ultra vision. You go to this house, right? Or oh, this store? Yes, we can. We might have to change the FOV sense a bit. The FOV is a bit E right now. Not very good. There's gotta be somebody here. Box here. I'll take that. More first aid. Hello? Anyone in here? Who's there? Friendlies. I am a friend. I've come to get you. There's an evacuation point not far from here. You need to get there fast. No, I'm not leaving. Have you seen what's out there? That. that giant. 
spider. It's going to get us. You have to destroy it. I'll see what I can do about it. We're gonna have to kill her one way or another. All right, Mr. Spider. Oh, we might have to use the Uzi 9mm on it. See, I have no idea how to use the first aid. Oh, boy. Oh. <laughs> it is already pretty hurt already. That looks like the be the weak spot. Taking that stuff. Not sure what the sky net chips are. They gotta be worth something, right? We shall see. Alright, lady. It's done. Is it safe? Yes. They took care of it. Thank you. Thank you so much. Now get out of here. I don't see anyone else. I'm heading your way. All right, let's escort the lady back. Let's make sure she doesn't get absolutely wrecked. Okay, we got four first aid. We're fine for now. Gotta make sure she makes it back alive. So we're gonna escort her. Should be fine for now. But yeah, I'm, but yeah, I'm kind of glad that we. Oh. Terminators with another armor spider. Come on, let's clear the path. Woo! Ooh. Oh! Jesus! Woo! Took all the good shit. Uh oh. More? Nice. Jennifer, what's the holdup? Tin cans coming. Jennifer. Get in. Go, go, go. Hold on, we're getting out of here. Mark's about to pass out. We need to stop soon. Okay, we'll do that. I don't think we've been properly introduced. I'm Ryan. That over there is Erin. She's a doctor of the group. Jennifer's a scavenger, and Colin, well, you can ask him yourself what he thinks he does. I'm Jacob. I'm a private from the Resistance. Pacific Division. Pacific? You're a long way from home. What you doing down here? My entire division was wiped out. I'm trying to get in touch with the South Division. I've got a message for Commander Baron. So it's true? The Annihilation Line's coming? It wasn't the Annihilation Line. It was something else. Then what was it? To be honest, I'm not sure myself. God damn it! That's as far as this piece of shit will go. Let's get off the road. Pull up over there. We got some time on them, so let's not lose our heads. I'll be on the fucking lookout for tin cans. Aaron, you do what you think is best for Mark. I'll see what I can do about the bus. Jacob? It might take a while, so can you look inside and see if it's safe to stay? Sure. Jennifer, would you help me? Sure. Okay. <laughs> we could just leave right away. 
okay, so I assume we could leave out there. We could start exploring too, on top of that. You have a new skill point. Can't talk to people. Okay, before we do anything, let's uh, explore what's out here first. Might find something. <laughs> Just jumping everywhere like a fucking idiot. My skill, my lockpick skill sucks. All right, so they definitely added some small uh, RPG elements into it. Do you got one skill point? We can use to get some more stuff. Potentially unlocking new doors. That. Even that, the soundtrack definitely plays how much in Terminator 2, that's for sure. I love it. Okay, take that. Now, granted, uh, this game definitely looks pretty dated. Oh, strange danger. A man came by earlier. I don't know him. No, I have seen him before. If he's one of you, buddy, you can tell him that he's not welcome here. You can tell our guy is up to no good when he's hiding his face like that. Could be a Terminator in disguise. Maybe the person in that video was uh, Kaya Weiss. Who knows? We might see Kaya Weiss, perhaps John Carner. We shall see. Uh, and uh, let's, let's level up real quick. What should we get? Wow, look at all this. Look at this. That's crazy. That's a lot. Uh, stealth. I think stealth is probably the most. Probably the most useless thing to get. Maybe moving faster while crouching might be useful, but uh, let's get one on the lockpick. Get that. Okay, nice. Okay, wow. Has our full inventory. No one kidding. We do got limited space, so we got to be real careful. All right, I have a feeling this game is going to be great. Can't block pick that. Got to get it to medium. I have a feeling this game is going to be really good. Can we go through here? Look for another side. No, not anymore. <laughs> resources. Not sure what's the resources for, but we'll find. God damn it, medium. Alright, so I assume this place is going to become our hideout, main hideout, essentially. Trade resources. Oh. Med kit, I'll take that. Alright. Get the flashlight out. I've been patient with you for the sake of this group. But you had uh -oh. one job today and you dropped the fucking ball. I don't have to listen to this shit. Sure, walk away, asshole. Okay, we got some bad jujus going among the group. Not good. Uh, nothing there. All right, let's use the crafting table. What what can we make? We're gonna use utilize gathered resources to craft items like med kits, ammo, explosive, and we do got a lot of stuff. But our crafting skill level it, it does kind of matters. Let's see, we can make up to. We can probably make one. Wow, we can make more actually. Uh, let's make about four luck picks. Good on bullets for now, I think. Maybe, maybe we can make some shotgun shells. And we are broke. We got no chemicals. Alright, gotta keep that in mind then. Oh, more metal scraps. Okay, before we do anything, uh, let's increase the FOV just a bit. I'm not sure where is it at. Oh, looks like you cannot... Cannot adjust the FOV, which is a shame. But we will deal with it. That, take that. Okay. Yeah. Alright. Baby. Oh my god. There's a lockpick mini game. I don't like this. I don't like me. I don't like fucking lockpick mini games. Alright, to pick a lock, you have to rotate the pin and at the same time, trying to turn the lock. The lock can be turned 
fully only if you find the correct angle with your pen. Okay, well, it looks like it's gonna be a far out. Yep, it's a far out. Far out three lockpick system. Oh. Yep. Oh, shit. That M16 is mine. I call it dibs. Ooh -wee. All this for us? Oh, did I startle you? Oh, uh, you're always such a. What, what do, you, do want? you want? I'm so glad you asked. Since we're stuck here, I figured I'll go see if anything's creeping around the corner. I hear that you're looking for the resistance, and where I'm heading, they used to have an outpost. I wouldn't mind backup while I'm out there. So what do you say? Buddies? Talk to Ryan and see if he needs anything. I'm moving out now. Let's meet at the bridge. And don't make me wait, will you? Okay. We could have been an asshole to him. I caught dibs on that M16A4. You guys are gonna fuck yourself. Ah. Uh -uh. Yes. The M16 of truth. Wow. Look. This will do some damage. Ooh, that is a reference to T1 Terminator 1. Well, at least I got food, water. It may not be in the best condition, but you know, it's better than nothing, you know. Okay, this the kid. Thanks for helping us in Pasadena. No problem, Patrick. No problem. Alright, uh I didn't at this point this is where the games can get open world. Whoa! Hey. Thanks for earlier. If it wasn't for you, I probably would have started completely freaking out. And that wouldn't have done anyone any good. Patrick's been through a lot, you know? I guess we all have. I just wish I could find something that would take his mind off all this. At least for a moment. Anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Were there any resistance in Pasadena? Were there any resistance in Pasadena? Well, okay, he's gonna speak for us. But they moved not that long ago. We tried to convince ourselves that maybe we were safe, so they didn't need to be there anymore. But apparently, we were wrong. Okay, let's ask her what happened to your father. What about your father? What happened to him? He protected us from a tin can. We were able to sneak out, but. He had no chance. When I looked back, he was lying there, dead on the floor. Look, I'm sorry, I, I don't think I'm ready for this. No boy, we're going to kick some ass, chew some bubble gum. Alright. Alright, Ryan, is there anything you need? Seems a repair might take a couple days. How's it looking inside? There's a lot of supplies there. Looks like someone left them for us. Nah, seems too much of a convenience. You better keep your eyes open. But speaking of supplies, we don't have much, but we keep everything useful inside this crate. You feel free to look through and pick up what you need. Listen, I know that finding the resistance is your number one priority, but if you stumble upon a set of tools while you're out there, please bring them to me, okay? I must have lost mine during the escape. Good luck out there. All right, we'll do. Tools for Ryan's, and then we gotta find a toy for Patrick. Trade. Oh, okay. So this is where we can buy some stuff. 1911. Any difference? No, it's just it's the same, really. Wow, yeah, we're definitely gonna have to expand our what the fuck is this chips? Not sure how to use this properly. Kind of want to use them, but I don't know. I don't know how to use them at the moment. Uh, we're good on. I think we're good on supplies. We could probably buy some more stuff though. All right, let's buy some of this. Let's buy about a. F buy about four. We don't need too much at the moment. Got some pipe bombs. And uh, dirty each, yeah. Let's take some of those. Medium caliber. 
Yeah, I think we're gonna probably need more. Let's buy about 20, 20 rounds. We're gonna piss rounds at the moment, so should be good. Energy sales, nice. Boom. Hey, right, you want something, Aaron? Lord, can't really. There, there we go. Can I help you? Uh, what was that with Colin? What was that with Colin? Okay. He was supposed to take care of a package back in Pasadena. Relying on him cost me my antibiotics, my pills, and possibly that man's life. But there's nothing we can do about it now. What do you think about Ryan? What do you think about Ryan? Ryan? I heard him fumbling through that speech back in the bus. You have to excuse him. Usually Jennifer's father welcomed the new arrivals. I guess Ryan thinks he has a new role in this group. If that's the case, then we should all be worried. All right, let's see if she needs any help. More likely she will, because we're going to go out and explore regardless, so... Let's ask if you she need needs help anything. With anything. No, I'm fine. I had to learn to do things by myself for quite a while, sweetie. Now, tell me what did you really want to ask me? Uh, how do you know about the Annihilation Line? Well, he's probably going to say for the fucking... How did you know about the Annihilation Line? I heard the rumors, like everyone else. And then, like everyone else, I decided to ignore them. I was in the middle of operating on a little girl. When I had finished, I realized that we were surrounded. The machines killed most of us, but they decided to keep me alive. So, that's how I ended up in a camp. Maybe they thought it would be worse having a doctor in there. I don't know. What happened at these camps? What happens at those camps? People get tortured, experimented on, cut to pieces. I couldn't watch at first, but I soon realized that I had to do what no one else could. I had to bear witness to the atrocities. You were actually the first person that wasn't afraid to ask. They're all scared of me, like, like I'm carrying some sort of disease. But they're still coming to me for medicine. Ironic, isn't it? Okay, I think we are settled. Other than that, let's get out there and kick some ass. Yes, let's leave the area.